Good evening, everybody. I hope everybody is having a fantastic Thanksgiving Eve. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about the leap call strategy. Um, I recently put out a video um, on this gentleman who made over a million dollars on Neo leap calls. Um, now, today's video is going to be on how I made um, I made almost four thousand dollars. I've sold a couple of these already. Um, I have twelve left, but um, I had purchased leap calls, which basically means that you are going very far. Um, you're giving yourself a lot of time for a contract, um, a call contract or put contract, which is giving you the option to buy 100 shares at a certain price by a certain time. So uh, let's get into, first of all, what calls are. So a call, like I said, it's a, you get 100 shares Per contract so you can either buy calls or puts a call is bullish it means that you think the stock is gonna rise um, if it goes above your price and as you see on the option chain the um, further it gets out of the money the cheaper it is to do so if you think that riot blockchain is gonna go to ten dollars by this Friday, which is November 27th, you would go out here and you would buy these for one penny, for one cent, and you would load them. Um, and if Riot actually did manage to go up close to $10, depending on how much um, Theta and Delta you still have. So the Delta is how much you make per dollar the stock rises. So if it rises $4, you now make uh, $8 on this contract each one that you own. Um, these are very short term, very uh, high theta um, contracts. So what theta is, is theta is time. It's one of the Greeks. Delta is wrapped up within theta. Um, delta is kind of the ruler of all these, the Greeks here. And theta, um, for every day that you hold this contract, the theta is going to be burned by uh, 0 0.01, uh, I'm sorry, 0 0.0447. Um, so the objective of a leap call strategy is you don't have a lot of theta. As you can see here, for every day I hold these contracts, I'm losing 0 0.0017 cents on each contract, um, which isn't even enough to, to make a noticeable difference. Um, other things you have to look at here. Um, there's a bid and an ask. So someone is trying to sell my contract currently for 530 and they're trying to sell 11 of them. And then there's a bid. So somebody's trying to buy 10 of them for $4. I purchased these for about $1.90 each. Um, I had originally purchased 15 of them and I'm slowly kind of taking them off the table just to make my money back. But <clears throat> um, this is a very important strategy and uh, very powerful in terms of how you can get, if you think a stock is going to rise uh, to a certain price, if you think the market cap could double, if you see the revenue coming in, if you see some bullish news, you can come out to 2023, 2022, 2021. This is a way to synthetically own the stock, um, especially when the stock is under $10. A lot of the contracts are very similar priced towards that of the um, the stock. So, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave in the description this Investopedia article um, that's talking about buying leaps. Um, investors can purchase a leap call option contract instead of shares in stock in order to get similar long-term investments with less capital. So I only spent $191 on each contract. Had I purchased the stock, I would have had to spend three, four hundred dollars for each hundred dollars for each hundred shares. Um, so you're getting very similar purchasing power um, uh, strength and the same um this kind of the same feedback for less you're spending less money and you're getting the same uh return sometimes greater of a return so as these keep rising i'm going to make 84 dollars on each contract that i make um which is very powerful right blockchain's over seven dollars already um i was out of the money so I, we were down here um and 
the the uh, the delta was lower as it rises in share price the delta goes up now some of my thinking about riot blockchain is that this company during the last Bitcoin bull run when Bitcoin went to 20,000 a coin um, this company riot blockchain changed their name they used to be a biotech company and they changed their name and they got in a lot of trouble for doing this um, the government actually came after them and said that they were f defrauding investors um, for this pump and dump and riot hit almost forty dollars a share and i remember watching this as bitcoin goes up to close to 20k you know we were looking at riot and it was going to almost forty dollars we were really considering shorting the stock um after bitcoin dumped i mean riot also dumped out they had a brutal next couple years where they were just in free fall um, and you're finally starting to see a price increase again so my whole idea was that if Bitcoin starts to run again um, I'm gonna own these these calls for 2023 and I expect right to go up past five dollars and if right goes up to say um, uh, $30 $40 I'm gonna make like $20,000 and I felt like that was a better play than almost even owning a ton of Bitcoin because the return is so much greater than Bitcoin um, to own these contracts. So this was my idea. Um, let me just go into a little bit more about Riot Blockchain. Currently, the CEO is Jeffrey McDonald and the market cap is a whopping $360 million. Um, and Bitcoin's market cap, I think, is probably close to 400 billion at this point so uh you know and no dividend they don't they're not gonna pay a dividend they don't have any earnings really they they still lose money every quarter i think last quarter they just about barely broke even um and the reason they are just barely breaking even even though bitcoin is super high um and i don't know if i mentioned this this is a bitcoin mining company um, they since then have purchased thousands and thousands of Bitcoin machines like this one here, the S19 Pro. They just released a press news that they are going to be buying 5,000 of these about a month ago. Um, so Riot is currently making $10 a day uh, mining Bitcoin on each single one of these. And they have 5,000 of them. So they're starting to make a lot more money. Um, but look at this energy consumption. There's 300 I'm sorry, 3,250 watts um, a day to run this thing, which is crazy amount of energy. Um, and that is costing them a ton of money to run. Um, and that's why a lot of times they say that Bitcoin mining isn't very profitable. Um, the other very important news. Oh, yeah. The very important news here is... Uh, Riot Blockchain just appointed a new director. This was November 21st, and this is really what sent the stock flying. So um, Riot had put a new director on the board, and he is a Canadian cabinet member, Remo Mancini. And uh, he brings a wide range of regulatory and, and uh, you know, governing experience to Riot. Um, so this is very bullish news that Riot is going to be having this guy on board with them um and it's exciting i mean they have thousands and thousands of these mines and they're currently um just cranking them out they have inventory of over a thousand coins so i mean do the math you know bitcoin is 20k right now they have a thousand coins that's only 20 million dollars their market cap is uh nearly uh i mean what th it's 360 million so they don't have a lot of assets in terms of their market cap. So this company is not a fabulous one to own shares of, in my opinion. Uh, but I did want to own calls just in case people decided to start FOMOing. You know, fear of missing out. People are going to start cranking into the stock. Um, and that was what I was trying to play. I was trying to play this run up. And so far it has worked out uh, pretty well. Um, I'm going to keep you guys posted. Now, remember, the money is not important, even though that's what this video is titled. Um, 
it's not important about the money. I really want to stress, and we're going to talk about the leap call strategy a lot. We're going to talk about it very, very often because I happen to love this strategy because it's a way to um, it's a way to capitalize on a company two, three years out um, when you know that a run is going to happen. So um, if you're confident in a company, you know, last time I gave the example AMC, um, I can give you another example of calls that I'm buying. Uh, I have currently been buying this company, CNH. Um, I have five of them that I've been purchasing and it's very, very low liquidity. So when you come down here, there's only 31 of these contracts open and there's only 44% implied volatility. So nearly no one owns these calls. Um, and I, I don't even know how I get filled to tell you the truth. I, I put out bids, um, but sometimes there's no bid and then my account like blows up and it, it shows that I lost all of it. Uh, but my idea behind this company is totally different. They recently acquired a new CEO, the CEO from Polaris. Um, he helped bring the company from $17 billion to $92 billion. Polaris is an off-roading vehicle company. Um, so this is a same thing. It's like an industrial. Um, they make electric tractors and they make tractors and they, they own Invesco and they own a ton of brands, Case. Uh, it's a lot of construction work. Um, and they... I mean, for the market cap and for how much assets they have, it's very undervalued in my opinion. It pays a dividend. Um, the new CEO, Scott Wine, is incredible. I'm going to go into more detail about this play. Um, I think it's incredible. So I've been buying these. That's totally not a recommendation. I'm just um, I'm just buying them for myself. But, uh, you know... I think that within the next two or three years, this company is going to pop off and hit my strike price, which is $15. So that's what I'm trying to play. Um, and let me know what you think of the leap strategy. Let me know what you think of um, Riot Blockchain or Bitcoin or anything else that we talk about in this video. Um, there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about, and that is a calendar spread. So last time I made the NEO video, uh, which is this one here, the NEO call video, um, we talked about a spread where you can kind of create a synthetic dividend for yourself. So I own these $5.15 strikes. What I could do is I can buy, I could sell a contract against it. So, um, you know, the the 15s here are 73 cents so i could pick the same expiration date and i could sell um i could sell these for 73 cents and make some of my money back um on the 2023 so like i paid um i think an average price of 120 if i sell the, the 17s here the 17.5 here um i am now i'm sorry this one the the, the same the same strike price the same strike price for two years instead of three years I'm taking in 80 cents and then my cost is only forty dollars and I get to hold them for an extra year um, and so that's what's known as a calendar spread I'm gonna leave a link in the bio about that as well um, you can also do even more short-term contracts so like if say CNH goes to like twenty dollars a share in like a day. What I could do is I could sell the 15s. There's going to be a lot of volatility because a lot of people are going to be buying them. Um, so this number where uh, this number controls basically what's called premium. Um, if this number here, if this percentage is bigger, it means there's more people that are interested in them and you are paying premium. You're paying extra because people want them. Um, the other thing to look at is open interest, which is how many contracts are totally open. Uh, bid and ask, we already covered that. Um, theta is the time decay, and delta is kind of the ruler of all these other Greeks here. For every dollar that the stock rises, um, the option is going to rise um, just by algorithm this 0.1, uh, 0.0139 cents. So for every dollar, it'll rise over that. Um, that's not saying that the options might go higher um, depending on the spread. Like there might just be a lot of people in them 
and it might just rise depending on how fast the stock is moving. So um, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you're going to join me on some leap call strategies. Let me know if you have any good plays in the links below um, and have a great day.